Welcome back, I'm Jay Barino, and this is StarCraft Mass Recall. This is the remake of StarCraft Brood War in StarCraft 2. This is mission 2 of the Terran campaign. Last mission, we killed it by building a whopping 10 marines. And that was the, uh, the mission objective. Backwater Station, if I remember, this is the first mission you get fire bats. And pretty much all my knowledge of these maps comes from the original Brood War maps, and I haven't played those for quite some time. But I played them enough that I pretty much remember their layout. Receiving incoming transmission. Calm link established. Hey, what's up, man? Got your refugees tucked in nice and tight. Provide you can sidestep any more surprises from our Confederate friends, and we can keep away from those critters. They should have an easy time. Priority alert. Backwater station under attack by unknown alien organisms. Distress beacon activated at 0658. Alerting Confederate headquarters on Tarsonis. Stand by for incoming transmission. We've already received the distress beacon from Backwater, and we'll take care of it. You just sit tight. You'll be notified if there's anything we think you need to know. Damn. Listen. If we wait for Confederate reinforcements, that station's dust. I'll head out there now and do what I can. You send in some militia, and we'll save those folks. Trust me. Okay. Here we go! So if I remember right, this mission, pretty much you just have to move up and rescue another base, and then you start getting attacked, and then you have to destroy some infested command center. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. Though I'm playing on hard, which I think is probably harder than the original StarCraft Brood War. And I think the makers of the map said they specifically wanted to make it harder, because now there's so many nice user interface uh, improvements, like being able to select a bunch more units. And this kind of shot's cool. This wasn't in the original one, you know? It's showing, like, oh, whoever you're playing as, the magistrate sent in some guys. Glad to see you, boys. Time to kick some serious butt. Yep, four marines, really sending in the militia. Alright. I think the first thing that I always used to do is I'd try and get my engineering bay early, because getting the weapons and armor upgrades, if I remember right, takes way longer in Brood War than it did. And because of that, um, let's just use these marines to support. I don't want them to be dying or anything. It takes way longer, so the earlier you can get him started, the better. I pretty much just let Jim Rayner take all the damage for now. Um, I'm not going to rescue the new base right away, because I think I'd rather um, get a couple more units to defend. Though I don't even know if they'll attack me in this game, or in this mission, because they I don't think they did in the original map. Anyway... Looks like the ground there is alive. Let's see if I can get all these, or most of them, in one go. Right on. Oh yeah! It's a pro, pro spider mine shot right there. Take out this creek colony, which is a actually a unique building that they made specifically for this because these didn't exist in StarCraft II. Uh, let's wait just in case. I want to get my Vespian geyser up. Then, and only then, will we be ready to take on the Nefarious Zerg. Okay. So, refineries in this now cost 100, as opposed to the 75 they do. So pretty much all the stats from StarCraft 1 were carried over. And you'll notice... Yeah, okay, so they... This is a good... Thanks um, for the rescue. We've been holed up in these bunkers for days hiding from the Zerg. Read you. Okay, so I did rescue this base. been out here a while. Um, what I was saying was that... Well, yes. Let's see. Two more Marines in this one. Just in case. Um, there, in the original one, they just had one attack um, value. So, like, Jim Rayner was damage 30, and that's all you saw. And the way that it worked in StarCraft 1 was that it, it only scaled down. 
So he passively would only do 15 to medium and 7.5 versus um, large, but you wouldn't see that in his tooltip. So I'm really glad that they added that. And like in StarCraft 2, um, it, it only scales up, and it'll tell you when it scales up, not down. And I think that's a pretty interesting difference, and something that, as a you know, as a young kid playing this game, like I realize, oh, Jim Rayner really doesn't do that much damage to tanks. Like he kills Zerglings in two hits, great, but. It didn't really click with me until I actually saw the values just explained out to me in plain text, because apparently I was a dumb kid. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can do this, do this again. A lot more links. Here we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, so it does seem like they're attacking me with a semi-decent frequency. Let's attack... Pair him and the bunker. And I wonder if they're going to attack me down here, too. Upgrade. Now, I do have uh, medics turned on, so I am going to use them this mission. And um, very similar to StarCraft 2, I'm just going to go ahead and give the medics a shot uh, and assume they're just Marine Medic as the best combination, because it absolutely is in StarCraft 2. So, when I played StarCraft 2 on Brutal, I figured, you know, oh, you know, I'll definitely just <clears throat> try and mix it up, because Marine Medic, every match, every map is just boring. Like, why would I want to do that every mission? So, uh, it's, it was a couple months ago, I don't even remember what I did, but I don't think I did Marine Medic every match, that's for sure. Only on the ones where it was just way too obviously the right choice, like that Goliath mission, like Marine Medic is... Wow, they are attacking me down here. Hey, stop! Hey! That's weird that they chased him. I lost my, uh, marine. Okay, so let's kill this Hydralisk. Now, Hydralisks are medium in this, so Jim Rainer is only doing 15 damage instead of his 30. Just keep making marines. And we'll get our second level of armor. Which, honestly, I, I doubt will be done by the time I'm ready to just move out, because I'm not going to wait forever to finish this mission. Though, I might want stim packs. Because now that I can have medics in this campaign, uh, stim packs are probably way crazy good as they were in um, campaigns 4 through 6 when medics were available. So I'm not getting many SCVs these levels because don't, I don't need them. But normally I would, I would saturate a lot more at my bases. Alright, so let's get my army in here to help out with this. Okay, so a big caveat with the medics in Brood War was that they had a tiny, tiny range, which I think keeps it a lot more balanced. Alright, cool. As long as they're sending Zerglings, uh, Rainer can defend by himself down here. Once Stimpax is done, I'm sure I'll be ready to move out. Don't really need this gas anymore. Okay. An interesting little change that they did is normally in um, Heart of the Swarm it'll say workers and a 5 out of uh, however many mineral patches you have times three to show like full saturation but because the the worker speed and the worker harvesting time was different for brood war they just decided to just tell you how many workers are there because there's really no optimal setting and pretty much every mission in brood war um, you had like an ideal mineral spread around your command center and in this like you could see like these there's no like ideal spread of minerals it's just kind of oddly placed. One more round of marines. Hey, stop it! Okay. Jim Rainer can handle himself again. And then I will repair him again. And, uh, I'll build a depot, but I don't plan on waiting. I'm just gonna move out with what I have. I'll just empty out my bunkers. Yeah, this is probably way more than enough. But hey, this is hard mode. I don't know. I, I really don't know what to expect. Okay. See, my medics in the back couldn't even heal. Can't even heal this guy. They have to be right next to him there. And they heal. It seems a bit slower than they did. And I, 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 that's fine with me. I'd much rather it be more balanced in that way. Oh, some Infestitarians. Those definitely were not in the original. Okay, let's move down here. Stimpak. 
Good. Stop move. These are the kind of things like you couldn't, you could stop move in Brood War, but it wasn't really that effective because one, you can only select what 12 units at a time. Now I can select my whole army. I can stim, get them healed up a little bit, and then stop move up the ramp. Also, fire bats have stim, which is crazy good. Well, I don't know if it's crazy good, to be honest. Fire bats were not like they were in StarCraft 2. In StarCraft 2, you can upgrade their armor, and they're just like huge tanks. Like, they're like unupgraded Ultralisk level tanks when you get that plus 2 armor. It's crazy. Actually, it's just like Ultralisks. Here, we'll stim again. It's just like Ultralisks, and, and you get the plus 2 armor upgrade, and then you can get the plus 3 normal. Whatever it is, it ain't natural. Burn it, boys. I think a lot of people didn't realize how, yeah, Firebats fully upgrade in StarCraft 2 were Ultralisks. <laughs> Not in this one, though. See, they're tiny. They do have one extra armor, though. And that should do it. Receiving incoming transmission. Marshal Reyna. By destroying the vital Confederate installation, you and your men have violated standing colonial law. As of right now, you're all under arrest. I suggest you throw down your weapons and come peaceably. Are you out of your mind? If we hadn't burned that damn factory, this entire colony could have been overrun. Maybe if you hadn't taken your sweet time in getting here. Now, I asked you nice the first time, boy. I didn't come here to talk with you. Now throw down them weapons. Guess you wouldn't be a confederate if you weren't a complete pain in the ass. And we're arrested. Cool! Alright, that's gonna wrap up this mission. The next one I think is the generic defend for 30 minutes mission that's in every single Blizzard campaign that's ever existed. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.